What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back. I do appreciate the support. Guys, listen. There was a shooting uh, last month, March 30th to be exact, exact um, that in downtown Indianapolis, in which this guy right here, 17-year-old King Dennis, wound up shooting were getting caught up in a mass shooting that seven people were injured between the ages of 12 and 16 years old and they were injured and this guy has been arrested him and another kid i guess the other kid got caught up in the same mess for fighting with police and stuff like that but this guy's been charged in this mass shoot right now he went to court yesterday or the day before and his mom was there and you know as usual to get a good story the media gonna put the camera in her face and let her just go with it and boy did she go i'm gonna let you hear what she said about the whole incident she spoke like she was there herself spoke in defense of her son and some of the stuff she said was mind-blowing to me and i said before and i'll say it again as parents a lot of times you can't defend your children when your children are in the wrong. This is a perfect example. It's time for us to rip the bandaid off this BS that's going around out here and start calling it for what it is. Lawless stupidness. And when somebody's at fault, they need to have accountability. And this woman right here seems as though you don't care about that. Take a look at this. We'll come back and do what we do. He didn't go downtown for no commotion. He went to have a good time. That's the mother of the 17-year-old who's charged in the mass shooting here in downtown Indianapolis, talking exclusively today with 13 News. Her son tonight is facing charges for the shooting that injured seven kids between the age of 12 and 16. Our Gina Galero spoke exclusively to the suspect's mom. Her position is that her son prevented more people from getting hurt. King Dennis was emotional in front of a judge inside the community justice campus. His mother tells me that he was defending himself and those victims the night of March 30th. Hey, oh, no, this is crazy. Yeah, I was really Holly Dennis wipes away tears outside the courtroom after seeing her 17 year old son in inmate clothes being tried as an adult. He's not a monster. He's very smart and intelligent. He's very respectful. Police say this is King Dennis on surveillance video pointing and shooting a gun near West Maryland and South Illinois streets. Court documents say Dennis was one of two people arrested at the scene and later released for fighting with police. My son was walking away from the crowd. His mother telling her perspective to 13 News. She says she watched the video and it doesn't show the whole story. The people started shooting first, King let off twice, and that's when the shooting stopped. Dennis says her son didn't know the person who pulled the trigger first or why. If he was in the room, why did he go back to the scene? Why did he just keep going? My son was only defending himself and coming back to the scene to make sure that everyone was okay that he went down there with. Dennis says her son fired those shots with someone else's gun. The prosecutor says Dennis will be tried as an adult because he has a prior conviction for dangerous possession of a handgun. I feel as though that his juvenile past should not affect him. Holly Dennis hasn't spoken to the victims or their parents, but says her son was trying to protect the people in the crowd, not hurt them. So it could have been many, many more kids and civilians dead if my son would not let them two bullets off. The bond for Dennis is set at $25,000. If he's released, he'll be on home detention with GPS monitoring, and he can't go anywhere near the shooting scene. Reporting at the Community Justice Campus, Gina Galeros, 13 News. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a perfect example of when parents put themselves in the uh, theater of a crime when their children were out there like they was there themselves. This lady sound crazy as hell. She sound disingenuous. When boys are out there in the street doing uh, miscreant behavior and you have women talking for, for them, their mothers, a lot of times 
It don't help the case. It hurts it. I think she did. That make you wonder what was his upbringing really like? Because she's so dismissive in a way of what happened. Check this out. It says in an affidavit for probable cause, officials said that Dennis initially told police he was walking in the area when a group he was in approached a large group of people in a fight. Dennis then reportedly told police he heard gunshots. Dennis was reportedly arrested at the scene for fighting with police. Through surveillance footage, detectives reportedly saw Dennis point a handgun towards a crowd of people and fire a gun. The clothes that Dennis was wearing in the uh, body cam footage, initial, initial, uh, initial arrest reportedly matched the clothes of a person who fired the gun during the incident, during the, according to court documents. So they got him firing the gun, got him walking with a group that went to go get in a fight with somebody else, approaching them for a fight. He with them, pulls out a gun, lets off shots, got it on camera. Got him on camera fighting with police. This guy's still locked up right now. What does she say? A couple of things kind of ran me, ran me hot. Oh, he's a good boy. He's smart. Very intelligent. Yeah. When he's in your presence. But when they're out there in the street amongst their peers, they get what? Peer pressure. Got to remember, young men and a lot of women... Uh, out there, I don't know if this woman's a single mother or not, but a lot of women, when your child is out in the street, they're buying and fighting for what? Credibility. It's a pecking order with men. We all know this, guys. You know what I'm saying? We got four or five different friends and all this other stuff, you know, coming up. It's always going to be a pecking order. There's going to be somebody that they go to when they have problems, somebody that's the toughest, somebody that's the smartest, somebody that's the more reasonable, somebody that's the kindest. Same thing. Hell, we slap boxed in the street back in the day, trying to establish a rank amongst ourselves. Guys, we know this. This woman don't, evidently. Another thing is this. They walked and approached somebody else, a large group in a fight. They went over there where the smoke was at. Got him letting off shots. Evidently, somebody else supposed to let off shots too. Seven people was hurt between the ages of 12 and 16 years old. This guy's 17 years old. He downtown. It's a big group of kids and all this other stuff. Where was you at, man? Yeah, he's smart and he's a sweet and all, but he wasn't making a smart decision. Said he was shooting with a gun that wasn't his. Said he got arrested before having a gun on him. What did she say? His juvenile past shouldn't be brought up. He's still considered a juvenile. He's 17 damn years old. See how you sound? That's the thing. Didn't learn the first time. I don't think he monitored him the first time either. Oh, maybe he learned his lessons. Yeah, but if he's still in the street, the same people, the same thing will keep happening. That's the thing. Everybody get up here and get dismissed. Seven people hurt from age 12 to 16. They don't count. If he hadn't let off them shots, a lot more people would have been hurt. Oh, so he's the lifesaver. So him returning fire saved everybody. So now he's a Vietnam veteran or Iraqi war veteran giving cover fire so his uh, team can escape. What is it, SOCOM? What is he, a Navy SEAL now? Not feeling it, man. Not feeling it. She crying because he's in state clothes like a criminal. He committed a crime. What did you think he'd be dressed in? His regular clothes? She crying. It's like, man, the dismissal. Then do you hear, hear when she, she, she went from sad to talking about the situation? She sound gangster like a son. Yeah, King let off two. He let off two. What? Bottom line, no accountability at all. And that's how I see it. No accountability. Yeah, you want to speak in defense of your son, but you didn't say that. In, in my, my opinion, you didn't say and I mean, if you said this or not, it was better to just be quiet. I wouldn't even have to talk to the camera. I think you hurt the situation more than you helped it. I'm going to tell you something. A lot of times what gets kids out of trouble is the parenting they have and the people that represent them from their family. The way she said that and said that on TV, 
It's like she was dismissive of all the people that got hurt. My son. Yeah, okay. Well, your son's sitting up there and you cried because you saw him in orange. That's facts. To me, it sounded like she was saying, screw everybody else. If he hadn't have did that, everybody else would have got hurt. More people would have got hurt. Okay. Okay. Why did he have a gun again? I don't even know if the media people asked her that. If I was there, I would have been like, ma'am, uh, and this is the thing. Regular mainstream media that work for somebody, they can't ask questions. They can only ask questions that don't really cause any type of controversy. Me, if I interviewed her, it would have been a bit different, a lot different. Ma'am, he was caught before with a gun. Why he have a gun again? He know not to play with guns because he got caught the first time. Did you talk to him? Man, well, why did you think he did this this time? He was one of the people that had the gun. Other people didn't have guns out there. They was just fighting. Why would he be over there anyway? Why was he downtown by himself unattended with a group of friends and you was uh, home? Did you know where he was at? I'd ask the right questions. It just seemed like she was being dismissive, speaking in defense of her son and screw everybody else. And that's the problem. That's the problem. You can't get up here and say, hey, I'm defending my son when your son did something where you can't defend him. I told one of my kids one time that was acting up, I said, bro, you don't never want to be in a position where you're at the mercy of law and I can't pull you out of it. I can't help you. And this is the case. Now she's sitting up here and crying foul. When he put himself in this position, the same position they gave him a break for the first time. Now, this guy is not charged with attempted murder or nothing like that, but he does got charges of, you know, him being having a handgun again and all this stuff. And they said because of his criminal past, boom, they're going to charge him as an adult. And she's mad about it. What did you think was going to happen? These people are not playing games. Once they get you, they got you. So the thing is, a parent, if you can, and sometimes us as parents can't because some kids just jump into the fire because they like that feeling. It's better to say nothing. Or keep it to yourself. I think she was wrong. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Sometimes it's better not even to get in front of the damn camera. Because you look just as stupid as the kid that you sitting up there trying to defend. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.